Hey, uh, so today I'll be talking about finding the roll center of a vehicle. The roll center of a vehicle is the point on the body about which the body is going to rotate. Now, how do you find it? So it depends on what suspension system you're looking at. I'm going to talk about two major suspension systems. One being the uh, double wishbone suspension with two control arms and then the other the McPherson strut suspension. So let me explain the concept of a roll center. So the roll center is the point about which the body is going to rotate. Now, how do you find that? Well, you first need to find the instant centers about which these control arms are going to move. And then using that instant center, you're going to find out this uh, point about which the body is going to rotate. So to find the instant center of each of these pairs of control arms, you extend each of the control arm to meet at a single point which becomes their instant center. Now, the body is going to rotate because of a force. And where is that force coming from? It is coming from the contact point, or the contact patch of the tires with the road. So, to find the roll center, we join a line connecting the contact point to the instant center of the corresponding control arm. And then we do it for the same for the other end, and then the point where these both intersect that becomes our roll center. Now why is the roll center's position very important? Because when going around a corner, you can assume that the lateral force is acting about the center of gravity of the vehicle. Now this center of gravity is the point where you can assume the entire mass of the body. So this is the force acting, this is center about which the body is going to rotate. Hence, the amount of twist or the amount of moment that is going to result from this lateral force is dependent upon the distance between the center of gravity and the roll center. You want to minimize this uh, gap so that you don't have too much tilting of the body when going around the corner. At the same time, you don't want it to be too close or you won't have any feel of uh, uh, the vehicle going around the corner. Now, since the roll center position is highly dependent on the geometry of the control arms and when the uh, vehicle is going around the corner and it's tilting the geometry the relative geometry of these control arms is going to change which means that the position of the roll center is also going to change and hence the amount of moment that is acting on the body which is resulting in the twist it is very important to design the suspensions such that there is not too much movement of the roll center and thus not leading to you know a large change in the amount of moment that is being caused. Now this was about a double wishbone suspension. For a McPherson strut suspension, you have one control arm and then you have one spring. So to find the roll center, you draw a line perpendicular to the spring and then you extend the control arm to meet at a point. This becomes the instant center and similarly for the other one and the same procedure continues and then you have your roll center here thanks for watching uh, i hope you learned something out of this thank you